When you play Sacred Gold, there are many options related to save, load and export characters that you have to understand for future videos. For example, when you start a new campaign, you can do it with a level 1 character or with an exported character. If it's the first time you play Sacred, you can only play with the characters exported by default. An exported character will only keep the level and the inventory. In single player, when you start a new campaign, the exported character will start from the beginning, but keeping the level, inventory and the level of difficulty selected. Multiplayer is quite similar. The difference between single player and multiplayer is that in single player, once you start a new campaign, you can only change the campaign or the difficulty by starting a new campaign. So you will lose your progress in main and secondary missions, except your level and inventory. Instead, in multiplayer, when you save the game, since in multiplayer save and load works in different ways, you will be able to continue progress with your exported character from where you left it, no matter the level of your character or inventory. So, for example, you are playing a multiplayer campaign being level 30 and you are doing a mission. After completing the mission, you save the game and export the character. Then, you start a single player campaign, you go up to level 40 and you export the character. If you decide to continue the multiplayer, you will keep the mission done. However, if you get level or items in the multiplayer and you want to keep them in single player, you must start a new campaign, since the progress of the multiplayer exported character will be different from the progress of the game saved in single player. In short, if you get new levels or items in multiplayer, you must start a new game in single player to keep them. As I said before, when you leave a multiplayer game, your character is exported automatically. So, if for example you lose an item in multiplayer and you leave the game, your exported character will lose the item too, but your single player save game will keep the item. So, in order to keep the item, you only have to load the single player game, export the character, and from there, when you enter the multiplayer, you will have the item. This mechanic can be used in many ways, from not losing items, lever, or even the survival bonus. In future videos, we will see how we can exploit this mechanic. However, you can make an idea.